Wanna hear something unbelievable? Elon Musk has just revealed a shocking launch date, but is it realistic? Meanwhile, SpaceX expands Falcon 9 operations internationally, strengthening its dominance in commercial launches. Rocket Lab also hits a major milestone, solidifying its industry presence. With these two leading space companies pushing boundaries, we're witnessing a defining moment in the industry. Let's dive into the details in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Right now, when people talk about SpaceX, all eyes are on Flight 8, the next major step in the testing of Starship. One of the biggest questions is whether the launch will actually happen this month. Optimism is high, especially given the rapid progress in hardware preparation. However, delays could still arise from FAA regulatory approvals. The uncertainty has sparked debate, but in a surprising turn of events, Musk has made a bold statement that hints at an earlier launch than expected. During a recent discussion with three experts, Musk responded to a presentation slide displaying Starship Flight 8's expected launch date of February 24, 2025, a timeline initially referenced in the FCC license. In a brief but electrifying response, Musk simply stated, It might be sooner. <laughs> did you hear that? Not only did Musk acknowledge the FCC's timeline, but he also hinted that Starship could launch even earlier than expected. If this statement holds true, we could be looking at a launch within days. And even if it happens later than February 24th, it still leaves the strong possibility of a launch before the end of the month. This isn't the first time Musk has hinted at an imminent launch. After Flight 7, he tweeted, Nothing so far suggests pushing next launch past next month. Was he joking? Or could SpaceX truly be ready for Flight 8 sooner than anticipated? If everything continues smoothly, a late February launch is entirely possible. And here's why. On the hardware side, both B-15 and S-34 have already completed their static fire tests, meaning their independent testing phases are done. Both are now undergoing final checks and upgrades to ensure reliability before subsystem installations begin. Recent images from the Star Factory confirms that simulated satellites have already been moved inside for processing. Meanwhile, B-15 returned to the facility on February 10th followed by S-34 on February 12th. Given that the checkouts likely started immediately, it's safe to assume they're now in the final stages of integration. With this timeline, both stages could be rolled out to the launch pad sooner for integrated testing. If those tests proceed without issues, the hardware could be fully launch ready. The biggest hurdle now is FAA approval. SpaceX needs to complete its investigation into Ship 33's failure, submit findings to the FAA, outline corrective actions, and ensure all public safety requirements are met. Only after this process is completed can the flight receive final approval. While that may sound like a lengthy process, there's good reason to believe the FAA is moving quickly. The investigation began immediately after Flight 7, meaning over a month has already passed. SpaceX may have already completed most of the required steps, even if they haven't made an official announcement yet. Additionally, no major damage has been reported from Flight 7, which could expedite the review process. Another critical factor is that SpaceX doesn't need to modify its launch license as the test profile remains unchanged. This means that once the FAA signs off, SpaceX can proceed without waiting for further licensing adjustments. Given that the FAA has recently improved its processing speed, there is a real chance that approval could come sooner than expected. For now, we'll need to wait for an official update from Musk, SpaceX, or the FAA. But based on the available evidence, there's every reason to believe that Flight 8 could launch by the end of the month. What do you think? Will SpaceX pull it off? Drop a yes or a no in the comments section down below and share your predictions for the launch date. And if you're excited about the future of Starship, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on SpaceX's incredible journey. While we eagerly await Flight 8, SpaceX has once again pushed the boundaries of spaceflight with yet another remarkable milestone, this time with the Falcon 9. 
On the 18th of February at exactly 6.21 p.m. Eastern, SpaceX successfully launched a Falcon 9 carrying 23 Starlink satellites into orbit. The mission was flawless, with the payload deploying as planned, further expanding the ever-growing Starlink constellation. This launch marked SpaceX's 21st flight of the year and an astonishing 438th flight for the Falcon 9 overall. However, what truly made this mission stand out was the landing, a feat that has become increasingly impressive as SpaceX continues to push the limits of rocket reusability. While Falcon 9 booster landings are now routine, this particular touchdown was unlike any before. Just eight minutes after liftoff, booster B-1086 made a precise landing on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship. Marking its 16th successful recovery, the 110th landing on this specific drone ship, and an incredible 410th booster landing in SpaceX's history. But the real surprise? This landing took place just off the coast of the Bahamas, making it the first time a Falcon 9 booster has launched from one country and landed in another. Ahead of the flight, SpaceX hinted at this historic moment, stating, Today's mission is the first time Falcon 9 will land on a drone ship off the coast of the Bahamas. The company later reinforced the significance of this event in a series of tweets, explaining how this new landing location allows Falcon 9 to take a more efficient southeast trajectory from Florida, maximizing payload capacity and enabling missions like Crew Dragon's Fram 2 to reach polar orbits. Additionally, landing near the Bahamas provides better winter weather recovery options, further enhancing Falcon 9's rapid turnaround capabilities. Kiko Donchev, SpaceX's vice president of launch, also underscored the importance of the event, saying, This launch is special, as it will be the first time a rocket launches from one country and lands in another. One step closer to making spaceflight more like aircraft travel. Following the successful landing, Musk himself took to social media to celebrate the achievement, emphasizing, This is the first time that a rocket has taken off from one country, gone to space, and landed in another country. From the Bahamian side, this event was equally momentous. Deputy Prime Minister Isaac Chester Cooper expressed his enthusiasm during the SpaceX livestream, stating, This is significant for the Bahamas in, in so many ways. Uh, the first international landing in the Bahamas, in the Exuma Sound, is significant in and of itself. It puts us at the cutting edge of, of innovation, and it gives us a small country of 400,000 people to an opportunity to participate in the aerospace industry. This is, this is huge. Milestone represents more than just another successful launch. It signals the growing internationalization of SpaceX's rocket operations. While SpaceX has long served global customers, its launches have always taken place within U.S. territory or in international waters. Now, by landing in another country's jurisdiction, SpaceX has demonstrated the reliability of its systems and their potential for global expansion. Looking ahead, this is likely just the beginning. While the Bahamas may be the first nation outside the U.S. to host a Falcon 9 landing, other countries could soon follow. SpaceX's infrastructure could extend beyond landings. One day, we may see Falcon 9 launches from international sites as well. And with Starship on the horizon, even larger-scale global operations could become a reality. As SpaceX continues to break records and redefine what's possible, one thing is clear. They're setting themselves apart from every other aerospace company. This latest milestone is proof that their vision for the future of space flights isn't just ambitious. It's happening right here, right now, right in front of us. Now the question is, what incredible feat will they accomplish next? Speaking of incredible feats, Rocket Lab just reached a major milestone, adding yet another success to its growing list of achievements. On February 18th at 6.17 p.m. Eastern, Rocket Lab launched an electron rocket carrying Black Sky's Gen 3 satellites into orbit. These high-resolution Earth imaging satellites successfully deployed nearly an hour after launch, marking another crucial step in advancing real-time geospatial intelligence. The mission, named Fasten Your Seatbelts, was Rocket Lab's ninth launch for Black Sky since their partnership began in 2019. 
More impressively, this flight marked Electron's 60th overall mission, a proud milestone that further cements Rocket Lab's reputation as a leader in small satellite launches. This was Rocket Lab's second mission of the year, keeping the company on track to surpass its 2023 record of 16 total launches, including 14 orbital flights. If Rocket Lab maintains this momentum, it could challenge one of the slower-moving giants in the industry, like Blue Origin and ULA. But the excitement doesn't stop there. Rocket Lab and SpaceX, undoubtedly the two most active space companies today, achieved something incredible with their latest launches. With launch times of 6.17 p.m. for Electron and 6.21 p.m. for Falcon 9, these two missions lifted off just four minutes apart. This is a rare feat in the industry and a testament to the rapid acceleration of global launch capabilities. The fact that it was accomplished by two of the most dynamic and innovative companies makes it even more remarkable. This achievement adds to the growing number of record-breaking launches in 2024, solidifying the U.S. space industry's dominance. And in the near future, as companies like SpaceX, Rocket Lab, and others continue to expand their launch cadence, events like this may become more common. If you're excited about this incredible moment in spaceflight, show your support by commenting GREAT COMBINATION below. Stay tuned for more groundbreaking missions as these companies push the boundaries of what's possible in the aerospace industry. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.